gum health and COVID. Now right. that we're in the time that we're in a pandemic right now, November 2020. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Alan Williams with The Great Line Dentist. And I'm Dr. Daniel Choi with North Texas Dental Surgery. So Dr. Choi, you were just telling me something interesting about uh, the correlation between our overall gum health and COVID. Now right. that we're in the time that we're in a pandemic right now, November 2020, tell me what you were just telling me. Right, so what's really interesting is that what we realized that some of the, you know, like in this past year, the treatment protocols have been kind of like all over the place. Right. A lot of the doctors have just kind of been feeling like throwing darts, you know, trying to like different medications. And what they realized about like nine months ago, earlier in this year, um, was that they realized that dexamethasone or steroids um, were very effective in helping to reduce the inflammatory response from COVID. Okay. So what's really interesting about COVID is that so many different patients are manifesting many different symptoms. Some patients have the inability to breathe. Some patients are getting all these blood clots all out of their body or of their lungs or like even their legs, different areas. Um, again, like patients are manifesting so many different symptoms. Right. But something that they've really seen that's pretty synonymous throughout a lot of the patients is that there was just an increased level of inflammation throughout their body. And again, that's why these steroids, um, which are basically anti-inflammatory um, agents that help reduce the inflammation response throughout your body, was very beneficial to help prevent some of these worse issues right. um, with COVID. So. Um, not only dexamethasone, but they also realize, for example, there's something called budesonide inhalers. A yeah. lot of patients are having breathing issues, but patients were having a lot less issues when they were taking some of these inhalers. Okay. Well, another thing when it comes to dentistry that we also realize is that what periodontal, like what happens is periodontal disease is actually a kind of like an inflammatory process throughout our mouth. So um, what ends up happening is the bacteria gets underneath your gums, they release their toxins, and as those toxins are being released, they're inflaming your gums. Okay, so that's so, what we see, like the red puffy gums. Exactly, right? Okay. So some patients, um, you don't necessarily, you know, as a trained periodontist, I can look inside this person's mouth. Um, right off the bat, I can see like inflammation, like, you know, but there's very um, obvious cases sometimes and there's some discrete cases. Okay. But, you know, we, that we typically notice that with periodontal disease, like that's what periodontal disease is. It's a inflammatory process where the bacteria got in there releasing their toxins causing all these issues. Now, in bad cases of periodontal disease, what actually happens is that, you know, as the bacteria was just like propagating throughout underneath their gums and causing this inflammation and the bone loss, what ends up happening is there's so much inflammation that that's actually detectable throughout your human body through a blood test. And that's something that what we're looking for is something called high sensitivity C-reactive protein. And that is a very good indication of how much inflammation that you may have going on throughout your body. So, you know, one thing that they mentioned is that, you know, in the day of COVID is very unpredictable oh, to yeah. know whether you might get COVID or not. So the best option would be to, hey, if you take care of your gums and make sure that you have very little inflammation and, you know, like, even if you have healthy gums, just making sure you're brushing real well and using floss. And if you have periodontal disease, um, if it's a, a earlier stage where you can get a deep cleaning and get that easily taken care of, or whether you need laser gum surgery or you know gum surgery to go in there and clean out all that bacteria, right. that would actually be a very good idea. So that in the event that you can, so you could lower your C-reactive proteins overall, your systemic inflammation. So that in the event that should you get COVID one day, that you're not already kind of like, you know, running that race from like you okay. know you know behind the pack, right? So you know you're starting with everybody else. So basically, getting you know if you're a overall healthy person keeping good at home oral hygiene, getting regular cleanup uh, cleanings, or if you have periodontal disease, getting a deep cleaning, that ultimately can boost your whole body's immune system and aid in any kind of viral right. infections, okay. bacterial infections. All right, because you're getting rid of all that bacteria that's causing all that inflammation. Okay. You know? So, absolutely. So if you know that you've been told that you need a deep cleaning, or you know it's been many years since you've had a deep you know, cleaning, I hi would highly recommend that you go see your dentist, and get your cleanings, um, and again, and if it's really been that many years and you worry about gum disease or you know that your gums bleed easily, then you should definitely go in and get a deep cleaning and get everything taken a look at by a periodontist. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, well, hopefully you guys found that information helpful. All right, thanks, you guys. Thank you.